Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome to my brand new Greg Tech Let's Play series. This actually brand new is maybe a bit of an overstatement because I have actually been running this series for seven episodes already. However, um, I have separated that into a prologue, which contains pretty much nothing but what you can achieve in vanilla Minecraft. Um, Basically, the prologue con consists of me building this house, uh, gathering the materials for it, and talking, mainly. Talking about the mod pack that I'm using here, talking about why I included each and every single mod here. And it's also talking a bit about how, how I normally like do these series, such behind the scenes and what sort of decisions I make um, to facilitate these uh, series. So it's a, I'd say it's well worth a, a watch if you're kind of into the whole behind the scenes thing. But if you're here for Greg Tech content, then there's not much in that. Then you'll find pretty much all of it here. Because as I said, I have created this house. While it is made out of biomes of plenty materials, um, it is, everything in the house is vanilla in that it has a vanilla equivalent. Like these acacia planks, they're exactly the same as oak wood planks, the roof is just cherry wood, which is pretty much just any other wood there. So there is really no mod content so far. I've been wanting primarily to save that for this series, um, so that uh, we would be starting Greg Tech completely fresh. Now I didn't want to start off with building a house, because that's every single Minecraft Let's Play on YouTube starts with punching down a tree and then nothing ever gets achieved. So I've skipped past that for you guys, and instead you get to enjoy the beautiful sunrise in the other side, of course. And you get to enjoy some more advanced uh, gameplay right off the bat. So, without further ado, let's get right on to it. Now, Gregtick is a mod that touches pretty much everything. And this has led to a couple of issues with me trying to build this house, because one of the things that it touches is that you only get two planks when you're trying to craft a log. Um, similarly, you also only get... let's see if I have some more wood here. We'll take these. You also only get two sticks, if you try and make sticks with the normal recipe. So, getting tools and getting um, planks and such for all of this has taken twice the material needed because I did not want to delve into making the proper tools because the proper tools are mod content. But since we finally started the real series I can do that right now. So let us get those couple of sticks here and then we need to look at what we can actually do with an iron ingot. Now these are obtained the exact same way as usual mine to mine ore and melted. Uh, so we want to look for is there anything shaped industrial craft here? Extruder, lathe, assembly machine, plate bending machine. We need one of these at some point. Uh, wire mill, industrial bass furnace, metal former. You see, there's a lot of machines here. Really, a lot. Shaped IC2 crafting. Alright, there we are. Uh, static boots, solar helmet, that's not what we want actually. Maybe it's just under vanilla recipes then? As you can see, there's a forge hammer. Um, and stuff for, you can make iron plate with. Actually, let's just go back to the start here. Yeah, we, that's that. This is what we need. We need a hammer because a hammer can be used to making iron plates, and iron plates, I think, are necessary for a lot of tools. Like, if we look up in not enough items here, we can find, let's see, an iron pick. Um, so if you go recipe for this, you can see that we need one iron plate of various kind or one some kind. There are a bunch of different mods which have an iron plate available apparently. So we need an iron plate, we need two ingots, we need a hammer of any sort, we need a file of some sort, and we need two sticks. Now I'm assuming that the hammer and the file are just losing a bit of durability in the crafting here. But it does make sense that you need some tools to actually shape the middle. So we need to get a hammer and a file. So let's see, iron hammer. It has to be in here somewhere. Apparently you can make like, oh, you can make uh, pickaxe and stuff separately, nice. Don't know if that's has any uh, specific purpose. Anyway, iron hammer. Give a machine a hard work, used to craft plates from ingots, can rotate some blocks, 
toggle general machine states and use as a prospectus hammer. Interesting. So it needs six iron ingots and some kind of stick. What about the file then? Two iron plates and a stick. All right. Well, that's gonna take some investment here. The hammer is easy enough. Now we need some iron plates, and I believe that the way they craft, yeah. And of course, that takes durability. So two iron plates and a stick gives us the file. Great. Now we need one more iron plate, and it needs to go in that corner. Then we have the iron. Actually, I need to make some sticks quickly. So two iron ingots there. The file. I think the file over there. Two sticks and our iron plates. And that should give us the iron pickaxe, yeah. Alright, we finally have one decent tool. What about a shovel? Is that... That's an iron plate as well. Now these iron plates... You can make them in a plate bending machine, or an extruder, or a plate cutting machine. And apparently all of these uh, result in you only using one iron ingot for each plate. That's good. Um... What about the rolling machine? Uh, I'm just wondering here because that's that's also one of the let's see uses. Uh, rolling machine, rolling machine, rails, rails, tin plates, iron plates. All right, also four to one. And how do you make a rolling machine then? Like I'm just wondering if it's actually worth investing in that so early as that, early as now. Four pistons, four iron ingots, and a piston is craft, crafted the normal way. Okay, we don't have redstone yet. So we will need to go underground to get that. Um, and going underground means we need to get some stuff. Anyway, there's one more thing I need to make. I need to make a saw. Because that's... Uh, that's the... Uh, like, let's see, there's iron, bronze, steel, tungsten steel, electric saw. Yeah, that's a bit of way. Uh, stainless steel. That's a bit of way. Um, iron saw needs two iron plates and a bunch of sticks. All right, we can get that. We got enough. Now, at the moment, iron is a bit expensive for me because I don't have a lot of it. But that's also because I haven't had a pickaxe to actually go underground deep enough. Now I have an iron pickaxe, so getting a bunch of extra uh, stuff like this should not be an issue. So file hammer in there somewhere in some combination. There we are. Twelfth time the charm. Now the saw is quite interesting because it allows you not only to well not that but it allows you to get the four planks as you're used used to, but it also allows us to make four sticks for each recipe. So the saw is a big help in getting uh, stuff done in general. Now is there any sort of tool rack that we can use? Uh, tool cabinet, tool rack. Slabs and an iron ingot. I kind of want one of these. Do we have? Do they need oak wood or? Well, let's let's just get get some oak wood. We have it. Uh, saw. And then I'm just wondering: is the slab recipe the normal? Yeah. All right. So these tool cabinets. I don't actually know what mod they're part of. I could imagine it would be bibliocraft, but I don't know for sure. In any case, uh, let us put one right here. And then we can take our hammer, I guess. And the file. No? Not the file. Alright, files don't go in the tool cabinet. How about a saw? Nope. Alright, there's a couple of box there, but the hammer does. Interesting. So, I guess we go underground to actually get some of those precious materials that we need to get the machines done. Now, I've started a mine here. It's not very good in terms of uh, convenience or anything, really, for that matter. But it does have a couple of things in here that we can get. Some copper ore, I found. Should help us making uh, bronze, wires and such. There's some uranium here. And up here, there's nothing. There's some more cover over there, which we need to go pick up. And... Yeah, pretty much just a bunch of mining going on now, because I finally have these tools. 
I've been waiting quite a long time for these. Um, but yeah, hopefully having you guys along for the entire uh, mod right here is will be worth it. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. Alright, now, any other materials we can find right about here? There's some coal. Never a bad thing to have. And yes, I'm using a stone pickaxe right now, because for the stuff that I can actually use the stone pickaxe for, I'd prefer to just get, get these used up. There's a skeleton over there, I really don't want to mess with him. Uh, since I don't have a ranged weapon on me. Can we see anything else of value? There's some more cover over there. Should be pretty easy to get to. And then I guess we just need to go deeper. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give you guys a brief break here um, and then I'll see you guys once I'm actually a bit deeper in the ravine here. And welcome back. Back. Now, as you can see here, um, it's not just one ravine, there's actually a couple of ravines intersecting here. Uh, right underneath our house, actually, so we have a lot of underground space here to use for whatever. But, um, like, the annoying thing is that I decided to dig down my staircase right here in the middle, where there's pretty much nothing to dig into. So I'm gonna have to climb back up and actually make a staircase uh, somewhere else where there's stuff I can actually walk on and dig into without having to drop a bunch of gravel down to make a staircase. So, let us just... I'm, I'm just going to go all the way back here and just kind of resume the the beginning staircase I have here and just dig into the side instead. So, yeah. Uh, there's a slight delay in the plans here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the bottom again. And I have finally made it to the bottom now. Of course, you guys have no idea how long that just took because the recording was paused altogether, but um, let's just say I've been digging for a bit. As you can see, I've used up half my pickaxe just getting down here in a rather decent, in a decent way, so... In any case, we made it to the bottom here, and now we can start actually looking for all these new fantastic ores that are supposedly here. I know that uh, all these like shining crystals and such, and the cinnabar ore here, that's uh, farm craft. So that's not not something we're gonna delve into right now. Now there's some cover there, which I guess would be good enough to pick up at some point. But it, at the moment, we're actually here for iron and diamonds, if we can even find some of them. Like that, that would be a big boon to find a couple of diamonds here. Not that I, I don't know if we can actually use them for much, uh, like with all the recipe changes and such, but. Um, at the very least, we want enough iron to um, replenish what we've used to make the pickaxe. And I think we've achieved that now. So, alright, at least the trip has paid off. Now, all the way down here, we finally found some tin as well. Uh, that means we can start making some bronze. Tin, of course, or bronze, of course, using a lot more uh, copper than tin, so... Good thing that we have found quite a bit of copper. Let's see... Can we see anything else from down here? Stack is up there, some more iron we went past. Some stuff over there, across the waterfall here. Yeah, let's, let's just quickly take uh, a moment to light up some stuff here. And then get rid of this zombie. Hey, too bad I only had the, that sword which just broke. I have my axe though. There you go. We'll ask him a question. So as you can see, the other ravine here... Um, it's actually a lot deeper, but it also it goes all the way down to lava level, um, which means that we even here we should be pretty close to um, potentially being able to find diamonds. Uh, so it's really just a matter of luck, I guess. Um, there are some nice red stuff down there. I think that's uh, some sort of granite type type of deal. Just make sure there's nothing spawning up here. There's a lot of iron right here. Kind of want to get that. That's one of the things that, um, if my previous experiences with Greg Tech are any indication, we can never get enough iron. So it's just a matter of yoink, yoink, yoink. Get all the that you can. And the other bit were up here, yeah. 
wonder if we can reach it all from here. Probably can't. Oh, that seems one good. Okay, good. Good, good. And grab these two as well. Or four. Five. All of it. All the iron. Yeah, as, as you can see, mining in um, in a mod like this takes uh, can take up quite a bit of time because you pretty much just need to pick up everything that you see. Um, I want to get down to this red stuff while I still have some pickaxe shoes left. I also want to get rid of that creeper guy. Cause I'm a creeper guy, creeper guy. Okay, apparently the red stuff is blast proof. Good to know. Good to know. Oops. Fail jump. So we have some nice natural... Ooh, there's some stuff up there. Oh, gold, gold over here. Gold. Gold. I like gold. Let's get that immediately. Um, I could imagine it having quite a few uses now. So, grab that. Not because there was a lot of it, but uh, every little bit counts, I guess. Now, this red stuff here, what is it exactly? It's red granite cobblestone, and apparently it's tougher than obsidian. <laughs> or about as tough as. I'm, I'm just going to see if my iron pickaxe can even pick it up, or I'll need some, something stronger. It is breaking, but it's not breaking fast. Like, this this is obsidian speeds. But can I pick it up? No, I cannot. So I can just about break it, but I can't pick it up. Right, better tools are needed for that. Now, that those green blobs up there, I don't know what they are. And I also don't know what um, if there's anything interesting down here. I can't see any, at least. Alright, now the question is... Do we want to try and get to those green blobs up there? It's going to take quite a bit of staircase building, I reckon. But it might be worth it. We will need to get to divert one of these waterfalls, I guess. Um, let's just do this. Get around there. Alright. Start climbing. I hear a zombie somewhere, but I'm not seeing him. Oh, there we are. Malachite ore. Interesting. Is there more of it or just one? Malachite. I'm just gonna stand over here where I won't get shot into lava and then we can see what can Malachite actually do. Oh, it spams with plenty of stuff. And we can also macerate it for something what was this used for pretty much nothing nope I malachite or malachite dust industrial granite can get us some more of it um, but it's not really used for anything at all as far as I can tell Nope, n nothing but the ancient staff, which is uh, bam so plenty. Like it leads, it leads to a um, a secret dimension. Pretty much, that's what it does. Um, a secret dimension which has uh, some, like a unique ore and some different types of tree and such. Quite overpowered, really. Um, so it's probably it probably won't be anything we'll use a lot. So until there's actually some great tech use for Malachite, I think that's, that's something we're just going to end up stashing in a chest somewhere and ignoring. Uh, there's an angry zombie over there, that's also a Formcraft edition. I still only have my axe for weapon. Get rid of him. And lovely, there's a creep over here now. Let's see, can we trick him over here? And... have him blow up in the water. It's fine. Alright, uh, I see a bunch of 
cover right underneath us here. So if we can dry up this stuff, and then maybe have a look to see if there's anything below. Stuff to stand on without it falling into the lava in the, down there. Excellent. And pretty much it's just a, we've almost used up our first iron pickaxe here but we've gotten quite a bit of stuff so once we do get back to the surface I reckon there, there'll be quite a bit of crafting to be done. Um, putting... ah dang it. Putting all this stuff to good use. Dang it! It's in the water down there now. Although one of them is available for pickup again. It's just... What about the other one? Did they... The other one down. Hey, nice, we got it. Anyway, is that redstone over there? I think that's redstone over there. We need to get over there. Uh, can we trick that creeper into falling into the water, maybe? That would be swell. Or into the lava, rather. See, if we give him a step there, we we'll give him a step there. A step there. A step there. And then we can punch him into the lava. Beautiful. Excellent. Alright, now let's see if we have more than just one bit of redstone. We do have a bit more. And get some of it at least. Don't know if there's anything underneath. That's my issue right now. Will there be anything? On there's nothing underneath there at least. I know that. Uh, and I just ruined my chances of getting out. Or getting rested. Anyway, I got a couple of pieces that should be enough to like make a ro rolling machine or something. The question is whether we can actually power it. But for now, um, there's not really a lot we can do until we get a new pickaxe. So I'm going to head out of here and I'm also going to call this the first episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my mining expedition here. Um, hopefully there won't be too many more of these because, quite frankly, they aren't that interesting to watch. But considering that this is a brand new mod, um, mod pack even, with a bunch of new stuff, um, both overground and underground. I figured we might as well start with gathering some of the precious materials we need. Now where did I put my staircase out? There we are. So yeah, I'm gonna go up and melt this and then I will see you next time. I'm Jerry and this has been Greg Tech. And a bunch of other mods, but mainly Greg Tech. Bye!